friends, I'm Sam and Mila, and on today's episode of Extra Sweet, I'm going to show you how to ombre a cheesecake. First things first is our crust. So I've got here some crushed chocolate graham crackers, mix in a little brown sugar, some butter, and a pinch of salt just to kind of round out that flavor. I like to use a measuring cup just to ensure that my layer is super flat and as even as possible. So now I'm gonna pop this in the fridge to re-chill our butter and then we're gonna make the filling. I've got a half cup of cream here. I'm gonna sprinkle a little of this powdered gelatin over the top and then after it blooms, we're gonna throw it in the microwave, stir it up a bit, and then we're gonna add that to the rest of the cream cheese filling so that when it chills, it really sets. Four blocks softened cream cheese. Going into our big old bowl. To this comes the sugar, just a bit of Greek yogurt, a couple tablespoons of lemon juice, and then we whip again. So we got half of the filling done. I'm now gonna add some more cream. I'm going slow though. Don't wanna add all the cream at once just because then you're more likely to have a chunky batter. Coming in with the rest of the cream. You guys probably know this already, but definitely keep your mixer on low just because you don't want to mess. All the cream's mixed in real nice. So to this, we're gonna add a bit of powdered sugar and a splash of vanilla. Mix this on low. You can see our batter is super smooth, super velvety. And you guys remember about that gelatin mixture I was telling you about where you have to let it bloom and then you microwave it for like 30 or 60 seconds. So that's what I have here and I let it cool and I'm just going to drizzle it in while I'm whipping. Our filling's all made. The fun part of an ombre cheesecake is that we get to color it. The not fun part is that it takes a lot of bowls, but that's what a dishwasher is for, so it's totally fine. So we're gonna divide the batter out into these four bowls, all with different amounts. We're gonna do equal parts of this raspberry powder that I sifted. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that, and then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of water to create this like super bright red paste type thing. So I'm gonna transfer this and I'm gonna move it to our second biggest bowl. And I say that because our biggest bowl is going to stay white. And it's also going to give it a really subtle raspberry flavor. So not only is this an ombre cheesecake in color, it is also an ombre cheesecake in flavor. I divided the batter out into different sized bowls and used about the same amount of our food coloring in each bowl. And now I'm gonna grab the crust and show you how to put it together. So our crust has been nice and chilled and we are going to start layering. First guy up is the big bowl. This is just going to be our plain vanilla cheesecake. I kind of like to drop it on the counter, hence why I have a towel down here, and just kind of level it out that way. We're gonna come in with the second biggest, which is our lightest pink. You can kind of see on the edges here that it's creating kind of these little ripples, and that means the technique is working because all of the pink is pushing down into the center of the cheesecake, which is pushing the other layers out. So this is a good thing. Ripples are good. With the medium pink, our darkest pink is gonna go right in the center. So we're gonna give this a couple more slams. You can kind of see we've got the plain layer, and then we have the first light pink, which is kind of raspberry, the medium pink, which is more raspberry, and then the darkest pink in the center, which is super raspberry. So, this is pretty much done, but you can't eat it yet. This is the hardest part about this recipe is that you have to let it sit overnight in the fridge to build its structure so that you can cut it. So, see you guys tomorrow. So totally just kidding about seeing you tomorrow because I have one that's already done. You're welcome. I'm just gonna take that around town. We made it! So our cheesecake is done. But is it really done? No. Why? Because we need to go extra and add sprinkles and raspberries and whipped cream and that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So I've just got whipped cream in a little Ziploc bag. Swirl it right around the edge here. I'm gonna add a couple fresh raspberries on top of here. Just cause it is raspberry flavor. 
And this wouldn't be extra sweet if I didn't do sprinkles of some sort somewhere. So, on top of my whip, all the toppings and stuff I'm doing, totally, totally not necessary for you to actually make the cheesecake, obviously, but again, it just makes it so much prettier and it just gives it that little touch of love that I think everything needs. And that, friends, is how you ombre a cheesecake. Not only in color, but also in flavor. I will see you all next time on Extra Sweet.